What's up guys, my name is Luke and welcome back to Motion and Design. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. Uh, yeah, I actually stumbled across this effect. I'm not going to lie, it's not a very advanced effect, but I don't know, came out with some really cool results. So yeah, I thought I'd share how I did it. Uh, yeah, so I was just trying to, I was messing around with X particles and messing around with like the attractor. And I noticed that I did some weird things. So I was wondering how I could make it weirder. And this is kind of what I came up with. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, and yeah, let's get started. So let's start off over here with a plane. Uh, we're going to use this plane to emit the particles from. Uh, but let's first start off by adding a tube over here. Let's make it a little bit thinner, a little bit bigger. So with this effect, you can use almost any object. You'll see what I mean in a bit. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to use a tube. Let's just bump the segments. It's not really too important. And then let's just add a cube over here. At least this is what I did originally. Uh, you guys can add whatever you want. But for what I'm trying to do, this is perfect. Um, let's just make it a little bit. That should be fine. Cool, so we're going to use this for the vertex map. So let's go over here onto the plane, add a vertex, vertex map, and then drag these into here. So one and two. Let's just increase the amount of subdivisions on here, maybe actually 200. 200 each, go back into the vertex map, and then change this to add so that they both are able to. Uh, let's change it to surface for both of them, and then we can bring down the radius. Uh, maybe it's around 10. Let's just hide these so you can see what we're doing. And we also want to change them to uh, inside over here. So it's showing it like that. Nice. We also want to invert it so that we are only affecting the red over here. And now we are good to go. So if it's, it's a little bit blocky over here, that's a pretty easy fix. Let's add another vertex map. So over here, vertex map. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this vertex map into this vertex map. Go over here, go to layer and change the mode from nearest to average and then change that down to like 10. And now it's kind of blurry and that's, yeah, it looks nice. Cool. So let's start with X particles now. Let's grab an XP system, go over here to the object, change it from the image shape from rectangle to object, throw the plane in here. Uh, and change it from polygon center to polygon area. Let's go into the emission, change it from rate to shot, and turn the speed down to zero, and the radius we can put it like one. And let's add a few more. So let's go with 100,000 for now. What does that look like? Perfect. Cool, we can hide our plane now. And let's go over here into the display, change it from a uh, single color to gradient parameter. And we're going to change it to speed. You'll see why we do that in a second. Cool. So if we go over here and add an attractor. So if I just had to place the plane now, you'll see that it does this. And I was just like, well, that's really cool. And I was like, well, I wonder how we can get some more results <laughs> other than that. So let's just increase this to like 180. So the only problem with this technique is that there's not too much control over what you're doing. But uh, yeah, I mean, just for some like abstract uh, visuals, like uh, with my uh, in my head, I was like, oh yeah, we can use this for um, kind of like VJ loops, like background looping stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it can literally just be used for like abstract visuals. Cool. So what we're going to do with the attractor is in the fields over here, we're going to drag in this field. And so now when we press play, you'll notice that we it's attracting in these certain areas of here. And so it'll give us a little bit of a different result. But we can go a little bit further by taking these and putting it in the attractor over here under objects. And now when we press play. We get this really cool result. It's almost exactly the same as the, the one that I did in the intro. I think the only difference is that over here in the display, uh, I think I was using this and I think I brought this over a little bit more so there's a little bit more darker colors. And look at that. Super cool. Really weird. Um, how it works? 
I have no idea. That is a very good question. But it looks cool. And yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all that is to it. Uh, so yeah, the nice thing about this is that you can get multiple variations of this just by kind of switching up uh, the vertex maps over here. So if we had to remove this cube, let's add another tube over here. And then add that over here. And also change that to add. Let's move it down a bit, just so that they're like intersecting like that. Change the surface again, and also just bring these points down to like 10. Inside. Cool, and now if we go ahead to go back to the attractor and add the second tube in, you'll see we get a different result now as well. So there's a bunch of variations you can do with this. Um, yeah, it's a really simple technique. It's really, yeah, it's really simple. There's really nothing much to it, but it came out with a really cool result. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys quickly how to render it, and I think we'll be done then. So let's go over here, create a material. In this material over here, we want to grab a instance color. Oh, not random. Uh, instance color, drag that into the diffuse, change it from file to particle, and throw in an emitter over here. And now if we go onto the emitter over here, we can go to extensions, cinema 4D, and then octane tag, and the particles change from none to geometry, and now we have our geometry over here, but the particles aren't right, so let's add a sphere, put it like 1 or 0.5, and then drag that in here, and add the texture to it. And there we go. Uh, yeah, might be better to make this like one, so we get a little bit more detail. Uh, but I'd recommend uh, you cache it out uh, with a little bit more, maybe make it about a million particles over here, so that you get a little bit more detail. And then I'll drop this down to like 0.5, just so that there's a little bit more detail and variation in the render. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this render. Uh, I'm sorry that it's not the most advanced or crazy <laughs> tutorial, but I thought it was a really cool little effect. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, consider liking and subscribing, and I'll check you guys next week. Peace.